this is a big win for ugly niggas around the world. This is probably the biggest win for ugly niggas around the world. Courtesy of the Daily Mail. Lana Del Rey marries alligator tour guide Jeremy Dufresne or Jeremy Dufresne, Dufresne in shock wedding in Louisiana Bayou one month after debut romance. I don't think there's many guys who could do this. Honestly, I don't think many guys could do this because you see a lot of nine day fiance. You see a lot of those guys who come from abroad, who come from Africa, South America, the Caribbean, who marry some like gargoyle, you know, clapped up looking older lady who has money, but they don't last. Men can't do this as women. Women can. Women can marry a clap guy for love purely because this guy loves them down and it's all about romance, it's all about this, all about that. But I don't think men can do it the other way around. Honestly, we, we can't marry like, I don't know why. It's just something about whatever the makeup is. But you have to give this guy a lot of props because in most of the pictures I've seen with Lando Ray and this new guy that she's dating, he legitimately looks like he could be her dad. Like legit. Even with her weight loss, even with Lando Ray being bigger, I think there's such a weird look between them that whenever you see them together, it legitimately looks like mother and father. Now, maybe some women out there like having their dudes look a bit older because they want that kind of like fatherly kind of influence and whatever over them to look after them. I don't know. But I think that must have been really awkward when you go out places. Obviously not in America because everyone knows them in America. But if you travel abroad and shit and people may be mistaking you for mother and daughter, that's going to be a little bit awkward. That's going to make you feel a bit of a way, I'd imagine. But again, props to Lana for only looking at it through the love eyes point of view and thinking you know what i've dated celebrities i've dated actors i've dated musicians artists all across the board but my heart is always open to love in all shapes and sizes and you have to give her props because i feel like a lot of people don't really approach relationships like this most people have these weird especially online you see a lot of people online have these weird criterias with who people they want to date oh he has to be this race they have to be six foot tall they have to make this amount of money. All these weird stipulations. like They put way more of a cr criteria and a rules around who they should get in a relationship with or who they should hook up with. Most of them, they're friends, which is fucking bizarre. But for the most part, most of us don't really, you know, get that choice. Most of us have to kind of like settle for what we are given, settle for what's around, settle for what's available. You don't really get the chance to kind of pick and choose who you're going to date. You kind of get what's given to you and make the best of it. But you have to give Lana Del Rey a lot of credit for being open to the fact that love comes in all shapes and sizes. Love comes in all walks of life. And maybe sometimes bumping into a dude who is kind of, you know, self-made in his own way, does his own thing, isn't a celebrity, might be the best thing going forward because he's not going to want to encroach on what you're doing. He doesn't want to start, you know, a band. He doesn't want to become a DJ, right? He's not wanting to become a singer at any point in time. He's happy doing his thing. So he's going to be your rock, your emotional support on the outside, whatever it may be. And then you're going to be able to exist professionally as well in that relationship and not have him feel, you know, jealous that you're going to some Hollywood party or whatever it may be. That might kind of help things. But I'm just saying visually, all of that good sappy shit aside, visually, you have to give the girl props because I don't think a man could do this. I don't think a man that looks as beautiful as Lando Ray would marry a woman that looks as clapped as this guy. Because that guy is like a legit one. Like, and again, bless him. Not his fault, just a regular dude. But, you know, god damn, he's ugly. So, props to him. Ugly niggas win once again. Ugly niggas win once again. But, 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 please, please do we have to give solidarity to the guy's ex fiance? Because I don't think, this is a thing that only a woman could do. Only a woman could be this strong. Only a woman could be this strong. Because if this happened to me as a dude, I think I could, I think I could unalive myself immediately. And I'm not one of those type of people. But I think I would unalive myself immediately. The ex-fiancé of Landa Ray's new husband said the following. I'm in shock because we were engaged for 12 years and he got married after one month. We were engaged for 12 years and he got married after one month. Could you imagine how much that would hurt as a woman? You're engaged. No date for the wedding. Every time you bring it up, he's like, don't worry, babe, man. That weddings are just like, you know how it is. It's just a paper. It's this thing the government do to control you. He's giving you all this fucking stuff. He's gaslighting you. He's maybe convincing you, manipulating you. And you're like, you know what? It's true. 
I got the ring anyway. I got the engagement ring. We got some kids. We live in this house together. We're basically married. But you're not really. And then he meets somebody else. And after one month, they do the whole thing. Honestly, only a woman could could maintain that kind of strength to be able to talk to the press. Because if that was a dude and it happened to you, whoo, I would crash out, bro. I would crash out. I would crash the fuck out. Lose it. Be distraught. Be on the street rolling around like I did bath salts. I could not, I would not be able to hold it in. I swear to God, I would not be able to hold it in. So props to this woman for her ability to remain strong and remain steadfast despite her ex fiance and I'm sure if I read somewhere I think they've got two kids together and the child of her cho- and the father of her children going off and marrying Lana Del Rey <laughs> that's the nightmare of all women <laughs> you know what I mean he goes off and marries like a world famous super attractive singer <laughs> you can't even hate because you know he's she's clearly an upgrade from you but you can hate you know you can't hate, but you can hate. And we, you know, you, it's perfectly fine to hate because Jesus Christ, bro. Ouch. 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 But big up to the ugly niggas out loud. Big up to the ugly niggas around the world. Big up to this dude for bagging Lana Del Rey. Props and salutations to him. Props and salutations to that guy. He fucking won. He fucking won.